I'm Tony Spacey and welcome again to another episode of Get Hooked with the GAC Derby. Today we're going to be fishing, as you can see, on a private lake. We're in part of the Cotswold Water Park and as we promised you last time, we're going to go for something a little bit different. We're having a whole weekend and we're going for pike on the fly. To help us with this, we're going to be fishing with a good friend of mine, a guy who I've fished with on many times over the last season or so. He's the local guide and that's Tom Hammond. How you doing, Tom? Very well, Nice Tony. to see you again. Yeah. So, what are we going to get today? Oh, anything from jacks to hopefully double-figured high doubles. Conditions are good? Yep, it's bright, but it's fine. Excellent, that's deep. what we like to hear. If we don't catch anything, it's his fault. What we're also going to do today, we're fishing with another friend of mine, a young woman, Claire Carter, very well known on saltwater fishing terms, and she's a colleague of mine on the Clutch Rods Pro Team. So, let's introduce Claire. How are you doing, Claire? Nice to, you. nice to see you. So, your first day after Pike? First day after Pike, very excited. Yeah. Just be a little bit gentle because they're not GTs and okay. we usually find her hiding in the Seychelles or other exotic places rather than the Cotswold. So, we're very honoured today that she's going to come and fish somewhere cold. So, let's go and get in the boat, see what we're going to do. Well, we've just had one follow, so we're going to put a cast out in the same place and see if we can tempt him this time. We just fell across. That's it, perfect. Come on, fish. This water is just so beautiful and gin clear camera's probably not picking it up, but we can see the lure working all the way back. I tell you, if I was a fish, I couldn't resist this. This spot on the lake is a typical sort of pikey place where we've got overhanging trees, we've got a reed bed to the right, all great places for the, the pike where they'll hide out and ambush any prey that uh, happens to come past their nose, which is obviously what we're doing. The fly we're using is one of Fulling Mills and it's a UV flash-tailed whistler. And these big saltwater and pike flies now that Fulling Mill are, 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 are selling are absolutely superb. Um, for my money, I don't think there's a better commercially tied fly on the market. We just need Claire to hook a pike. The camera wouldn't have picked that up, but just in the top of the pool, there's two huge clouds of small silver bait fish jumping, which is obviously the pikes on the feed. I wouldn't let it sink too fast because the bait fish are jumping, the bait fish oh, it must be relatively shallow. Oh, it's following, it's following. Oh, we've just had another oh. good fish. <laughs> straight out. Straight, straight out. Go on, back again. Out. Followed it right in. I love this predator fishing, especially in clear water when you can see what's going on. It followed all the way in. Oh, come on, Pike. Now, that wasn't the same fish that we saw followed the first time. It wasn't quite as large, but. At least we now know there's at least two really good fish in the head of this pool. Perfect, perfect. Come on, fish. I thought we were going to have a fish out of here. The lines we're both using today are the new Rio Pike Musky lines. They're an intermediate with a floating running line. The nice thing about the head with these, they're a camouflage and uh, people who've been watching our videos will know that I prefer the camouflage sinking portion. 
the main thing with these are built on a very very soft braided core but it's also 25 pound braking strain which is substantially heavier than a normal fly line and obviously we're we're hoping for bigger fish and in the heavier weights of the musky pike musky lines then the braking strain does increase to over 30 pounds which uh, obviously is important with the size of the fish. Again we're using fulling mill flies I was totally convinced that they really are, especially in these larger type of flies, they are the best commercially tied flies available. And uh, we've both now got on the, my favourite fly I think, is you know, the, the one we have now and we're both fishing the UV flash tailed whistler. Now, we haven't had any takes but we have had some uh, quite exciting follows with some large fish. We just, neither of us have yet just been able to persuade one to uh, play ball and jump on but we live in hope and I guess what we should mention we've mentioned the flies we've mentioned the lines we're both fishing on uh, clutch tactical TSX nine foot ten weights Uh, both Claire and I are both convinced they're excellent big predator and saltwater rods. They're a beautiful hand built rod, they're American, titanium recoil rings, but the power and the strength of the action is just absolutely perfect for casting these big flies. And we've just had a take and miss. Yeah. 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 So I just had a take and missed. I don't think it really would have felt the flight. So the important thing is, is get the flight back out in the same place. See if we can tempt him again. And Claire's into her first pike, so let's see what we can uh, get on the old fish camp. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. First pike on the fly. Well done. Good work. <laughs> a little excited, Dan. That's me, Dan, mate. Use that sausage roll. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but Claire's after one of my sausage rolls. I'm sorry, but a fish of that size does not qualify for a sausage roll. Sweet. That's a bit bigger this time. This one's had a big bite out of it. Clearly see 
a huge bite mark on this trap, this uh, pike, all the way round, where another pike, and I'd say the jaws are possibly that wide, that's absolutely just snapped into him from both sides. And uh, I mean, it's amazing because it's really quite a grievous injury, but he's still feeding, and you can see some of his intestine is actually coming out through a hole in his stomach. But they're so voracious, he still wants to feed. It was, and I'm so glad that you got your first pike on the flight. Or the first three pike on the flight. <laughs> on the flight. Are you ever going to forgive me? No, but I have had some rather spectacular papyrus, so uh, I think I might go into a manufacturer of ancient Egyptian artifacts now. Nice. I, I have the raw material. The afternoon is your afternoon. Yes, this is it. I, I should come along on the outside, as I said. Either that or you'll be thrown on the outside and swim back. You weren't meant to catch more than me. <laughs> right, we've all had a, a bit of a break and had some lunch, um, give the fish a bit of a rest. And as you can see, it's turned a little bit chilly and there's a bit of a wind blowing, which is why we've all got woolly pullies and coats on. Or if you're Claire, probably three coats and two jumpers. <laughs> um, so hopefully we'll uh, have some more action this afternoon. Where we're starting off with is quite a, a wide and deep bowl. There are some good weed beds. It's pretty deep here, down to about 20 feet. We've already seen a couple of pike moving. Um, so we're sticking with what we were fishing with this morning, the clutch rods, lamps and reels, uh, the Rio lines, and uh, let's give it a go. Oh, thank you, God. I thought you got him. <laughs> I relaxed and I thought you got him. Good God. Last time we came, we had a decent ghillie. Yay. That's a better one. Not a huge fish, but it's my first fish of the day, so I'm now happy. I think it's three times bigger than the ones that Claire caught, so I, I would say we're now on even ground. Let's put him away, we'll come back next year when he's grown. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> well, we've come to the end of the first day. Gorgeous day, sun shining as we finish. Sadly, I've only caught one fish and a whole bunch of reeds, weeds, papyrus, and lots of other rubbish. While Claire, although we did say we'd love her to catch one fish, has gone and caught three. I don't remember promising you three fish. Two of them were quite definitely going to be mine that she poached. So, how have you enjoyed today? Very much. It's been a really awesome day. Thanks to the guides. And they're not very good, are they? But they were the best we could afford. They were free. They'll so do. They'll do. Well, at that price, we can probably have another day with them. 